Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. Today we're in the Mirage 2000C. It's end of November 2019 and we've got a new radio. This is to keep pace with the ADA, the Arm, the Lair, who actually use these aircraft. The radio is still a bit in early access. It's 95% working by the looks of things, so it's just about good enough to do this video. We can get 95% of the functionality down. Here's our Mirage and if we go to our presets here, we can see we have two radios, which is normal for a modern fighter aircraft. UHF radio here that's actually com2 that's an auxiliary uhf radio with a band of 225 to 400 megahertz we then have our primary com1 vhf slash uhf radio which has bands of 118 to 150 megahertz and 225 to 400 megahertz both using amplitude modulation you can see that we have 20 channels for each radio this primary radio can be used in two ways, either with manual frequency input in the cockpit or with preset frequencies, which at the time of making this have to be set in the mission editor here. The auxiliary radio has only presets which have to be set in the mission editor here. So for this video, we're going to make it as simple as possible. We're going to talk to Sonaki Tower. Click on Sonaki Tower. We've got four frequencies to reach them on. The two that are relevant to a modern fighter jet with AM are VHF 132 megahertz and UHF 261 megahertz. So we're going to go and add some preset frequencies in just to show you that they work. So UHF com uh, channel three, I'm going to say. I'm going to make 261 there. Uh, that's UHF and this one here, just picking these at random, channel 4, I'm going to make 1, 3, 2. In the cockpit, the items of interest are COM1 and COM2 repeaters there, so you can see them easily. We have auxiliary COM2 there, primary COM1 there, and we have volume control panel here. Follow control panel has various things, but of interest today, we have the ability to choose between amplifier number one and amplifier number two. It is normal to have more than one amplifier in an aircraft in case one breaks, then you'd switch to the other one. We have auxiliary radio volume here, red, and we can turn that up to maximum volume. And we've got primary radio here, green, VHF, UHF which we're going to turn up to maximum. You don't have to turn that up to maximum it's just to make this a bit easier to hear. Next, let's look at the radios. First, we'll look at COM2. Do we want to transmit in 5 watts or 25 watts? Do we want to squelch or not squelch? So we do want to squelch. This is ciphering. This is ciphering. Neither of those are relevant in DCS at this time. Test button. Master mode. Do you want it off, on, and these two are not functional, so we'll leave that on for now. And then we've got our rotary selector for the 20 preset channels and so on. Over to COM1, VHF, UHF. Do we want the radio off, on, no function, no function, no function, guard, that's going to be 243, no function. So we're going to leave that just on. So we've got numeric keypad here, we've got transfer here, we'll look at that in a bit, we've got memory and clear here, and we've got config. So if we want to change these numbers to other functions, we press config here, and we've got TOD, no function, tone, no function. Read does have a function, it's just not working at the moment, but we'll talk about it. Squelch, on or off. And GR, do we monitor, want to monitor guard? And it is normal to monitor guard, unless you have a specific reason not to. And our current wattage, which is 5 watts of output. Turn it back to numeric. And we've got our preset knob here, where we can change through the presets. First, we'll show using COM2, because it's just easier. So we're going to set to preset channel three i think it was which should be 261 megahertz we're going to check it on the repeater up here you see 261 this will only work in its current state if you have easy communications option turned off so in this mission i'm on here easy communication is forced off so it's just something you need to be aware of that may change in the future but that's how it is now we need to now look at the controls to use com1 we press that to use com2 we press that so i'm going to use com2 you can see this is UHF. I'm going to request taxi to runway Copy. with 261. Field one, one. Request taxi to runway. Wait for a response. Field one, one. Copy. There you go. Taxi to runway nine. And now I need to prove to you really that it doesn't work. So I'm going to scramble that now. I'm going to try it again just to show you that it will not work now. Stand by. I'm going to abort takeoff. Call key. In field one, one. Abort takeoff. And of course we won't get a response because we're now talking to some scrambled 250. 
or we might even find another airfield, whoever's on 250. Okay, next we're going to go 2, com, 1. First, we're going to use a manual frequency, and it's very simple. Just select FF and type in the frequency. The frequency is 132. In fact, I'll do 261 just to show that we can use UHF here. So 26100, validate. That's now got 261 in. Let's go and check on the repeater. 261. Now we're going to press the button for the COM1 transmit, which is there, VHF, and I'm going to abort takeoff. Corky, in field 1 1. Abort takeoff. In field 1 1. Lovely. Taxi to parking area. Now I'm going to show using a preset. So to use a preset, all I'm going to do is turn the knob to the relevant preset. I'm going to press transfer here to go from manual to presets. So transfer, we're now on presets. You can see we're in mode FF. We're in preset mode and that is the preset we've got selected. So left and right click and if I look at my chart, it is number four we want. So four and what we can see up here is we now have one, two, five. Ah, that's wrong. That was definitely four. Uh, it appears that they're numbered differently. So in the mission editor, it's the first time I've noticed this, this, the first one is one, whereas in here, again, just a little bug at the moment, it's zero. So to actually get number four, we have to go to zero, zero, three. It's just small bugs that may probably, will probably be fixed at some point. So it's actually channel three in here, which is one, three, two. So just something to bear in mind of at the moment. Transmit on VHF, request takeoff. Call key. In field one, one. Request takeoff. In field one, one. Call key. Clear to taxi to runway nine. Only other thing I would like to show, I think, is that if I go to config here, if I want to know what that frequency is, and I didn't want to use that repeater for some reason up here, I'm supposed to be able to press read here and while I press that that is supposed to show the frequency that is set under the preset it just doesn't work at the moment so again bugged I'm sure it'll be fixed at some point and I suppose I should show the clear function quickly as well so if I go back to there if I start typing in a, a manual frequency and if I get it wrong then I can just clear it like that that's all I want to show on the two radios in the Mirage November 2019 a couple of little things will be fixed but otherwise that's how it is I hope that was useful and see you later